Hi everyone, so today we're going to look at this beautiful indigenous instrument to Ulster. It's called the Lambeg Drum. We're going to explore some rhythms that we associate with it and learn how to play them. So before we do that, we have to have a look at the instrument itself and how it's played. We're going to use canes. These are made with Maleka cane, so you can see they're quite bendy. Okay, there's a little bit of play in them. Just before we start, we're going to have a look at the side of the skin of the drum. You can see the backbone running down the middle, and when we strike it with the cane, we're going to aim right across the middle, okay? When you're holding the cane in your hand, a nice light grip, not too light that it falls out of your hand, but a nice light grip so that you have room to move the stick, okay? And rotate your wrist when you're hitting the side of the drum, okay? So, across the middle, nice light grip, and we're ready to go and play our first tune, okay? The first tune we're going to look at today is called a jig time. And I'm going to break that down very quickly for you just before we have a go at learning it, okay? So it follows two simple patterns using quavers and triplets, okay? Those are musical terms or rudiments that we would use in music. Um, and rather than trying to remember those names, what I want you to remember is maybe some words that we can substitute in their place, okay? So for example, a triplet is usually three beats. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the word Saturday with three syllables, Saturday, to replace that sound. Saturday, Saturday, okay? Saturday is your triplet. The quaver sound, we're going to use the word T for one quaver and coffee for two quavers, okay? So this first jig time is going to be a quaver followed by a triplet, followed by another quaver. So T Saturday T, or T Saturday T would be how we emphasize that. So I'm going to play that very quickly for you. Try it along with me if you can. Okay. When you start that, I would encourage you to start with your right hand for the first quaver. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so to follow the pattern of our tune, we're going to play that twice in a row, like this. Okay, let's do it again. Perfect. Okay, the next time through, after that, it starts to get a wee bit more elaborate, okay? So listen to this. So we've got another quaver followed by three sets of triplets, okay? Finished off with another quaver at the end, okay? So we put that all together, the second part. Okay, quaver, three triplets, followed by an, a single quaver at the end, or T Saturday, 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 T. Okay, when we put it all together, it should sound like this. If you remember to follow the triplet pattern and the quaver pattern using the word T and Saturday to substitute the quaver and the triplets, I find that very helpful and I hope you have done as well. 